of us will never know what it's like to be trafficked, but we can all imagine it's a painful, humiliating experience full of despair and hopelessness. It's difficult to fathom how something like this could happen to anyone, especially a minor. It took two years to get to this point. Among those arrested, an East Lake fire lieutenant and a well-known restaurant owner in the Bay Area. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser has more on the investigation and the anonymous tip that may have saved a young girl's life. The victim, uh, a middle teenaged <laughs> girl. Acting on a tip, uh, investigators say it was two years ago today they rescued a girl who'd been sold into prostitution for at least six months. She was not attending school. She should have been doing things like learning to drive, maybe attending school dances. To protect the victim's identity, officials wouldn't say much about her or the person who had trafficked her, but they say it was someone who should have been looking out for the girl's best interest. Someone acting in a guardian parental role. What a more horrifying situation can you imagine for a child? Officials say the girl was sold for sex on the now defunct website Backpage, driven around the state, forced to meet with men who in some cases, they say, had sent the girl pictures of their own children. We do believe that there are other customers, and of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Among the nine so-called Johns arrested is 39-year-old Matthew Doyle, a now suspended lieutenant with the East Lake Fire Department. Neighbors who witnessed his arrest Thursday say Doyle has children of his own. I don't necessarily feel that my children are in danger or that we're in danger, um, but, you know, the fact that the person across the street, you know, was arrested or, you know, that in itself is disappointing. Also arrested 38-year-old Luigi Barile, who operates the popular Chefs of Napoli Italian restaurant in Spring Hill and the Villages. Horrified that this went on. Customer Eileen and Palumbo told us birthday. news of the arrest not only cost them her business today. It's cost me them my business forever. The men arrested were charged with human trafficking, not merely prostitution, say officials, because it was clear the victim they'd paid to have sex with was underage, being coerced. That they knew or recklessly disregarded uh, that someone, in this instance a juvenile, was being trafficked and they were part of that conspiracy. The young girl, the victim in this case, who was rescued two years ago, has since been placed in a much safer location by DCF. She is back in school. She is learning to play the piano and we're told possibly studying to become a caseworker so that she can help other people in similar circumstances in the future. Just a horrifying story. Investigators say this case underscores their commitment to fighting human trafficking here in the state of Florida. They remind parents to monitor their children's games and electronic communications and encourage anyone who hears or sees something unusual to give them a call.